guys welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is dominique aka legally bomb if you are not new welcome back um if you're watching this and you have not subscribed please subscribe before you watch any further be greatly appreciated but today i'm just going to bring you guys a wig review I have a couple of affordable blonde wigs that i think look good on us chocolate girls whatever so the first one is this what is this it is called Cyber by It's A Wig. For my monitor, it's looking kind of yellow, like a yellow toned. But it's like a 613, I guess you could say. But this color is called Celeb Blonde. And can you put heat to it? Say so you can put heat to it. Yeah, so this is just a shortcut blonde wig. If you watch my LA vlogs, this is a wig that I bought in my when me and Ayana went to the beauty supply store. Because the wig that I originally was supposed to get, it was a little bit shorter. It was more of a pixie. But this one, I mean, I think it works. I think it looks decent. Um, I did wear this for the remainder of our trip. Just because the wig that I did buy, which I will... Uh-oh, got a little shetty. Um... The wig that I did originally order did not come in time. And then the other wig that I bought, which I will show y'all in a minute, it was just a it was big and it was just kind of hot. So this was my go-to and now I actually really like it. I think I kind of want to get it in other colors just because I like the shortcut vibe. The only thing I do not like about this wig is the fact that it's on my face. But that's just me. I don't like hair on my face. But to combat that, I do have, let me see, I pulled my wig cap down like far. Fix myself back up. Uh oh. I can't. Oh lord. But um, with this wig, you can kind of. You see the way I'm just like zhuzhing it up however it is that I want it. I like that about this wig. Hold on. I do like this wig because it is a shortcut and also because it just kind of. You didn't just kind of mess it up. Like there's no right or wrong way to wear this wig. Um, on this one, it seems like more she has a kind of a part. Let me see. If it will focus. Uh, it's, she kind of has a side part, I guess. I prefer the kind of mushroom vibe, I guess you could say. But, um, yeah, I like it because it's already cut, already layered. So, you can just kind of mess it up and, you know, wear it however you see fit. And then it does come in a lot of colors. So, it comes in 1, 1B, Celeb Blonde, which is the color I have. Celeb Blue, Celeb Bird, which I think is Burgundy. Celeb Copper, Celeb Green, Celeb Purple, Celeb Red. And Celeb Sky. So if you want to experiment with color on a shortcut, this wig will definitely be for you. I think I paid $35 for this wig. And I'm almost certain you can get this wig cheaper online. Because um, when we were in California, the it seemed like the prices of those wigs in California were just ridiculously high. Um, as you saw when I was messing with it, I did have a little bit of shedding. But I mean, yeah. It's nothing like every time I put it on, it's shedding. What is this? Don't make me a liar, wig. Yeah, it, to me, the shedding is okay. But also because it sits so close to my brows. Um, when I have makeup on my forehead and on my brows, it kind of rubs off onto the hair. So, like, on the tips, on the front, uh, there is a little bit of, like, brown. But, I mean, it's not a big deal. And then the back. Let me see. I don't know if this is getting a good vibe but I don't really do much to the back I just kind of leave it as is but yeah I absolutely love this wig like I love it it's blonde it lets me step out of my comfort zone in LA I got to you know try some new things but what I buy this wig again absolutely just because it was only $30 and I feel like I will be able to wear this wig for months to come. I'm, I've only had it, how long have I been back from LA? Like two, three weeks. But um, I just keep it in the bag that it came in. And this is the net. I just wrap the net back around it and then that's it. But if you have space to where you can just sit it on a mannequin head or a little foam head and let it sit, it would definitely last you just because it's straight hair and you can't really go wrong. It does say that you can wash it and it says it's heat friendly. Oh, here it is. Safe up to 350 to 400 degrees. So I guess if you want to put like a little more bump in it or something, you can definitely do that. So I would definitely say it's worth the money and it comes in plenty of colors. Like I said, if you want to try different colors, then, you know, but this video is about blonde. So here is the first 
um, blonde wig. So it's this little shortcut that I wore in LA that I just absolutely love. So the next wig is this. I don't know what this wig is called. Oh, shucks. I am not sure of the name of this wig, but I will find it out. I want to say it's called Gabrielle by the Janet Collection. And this is the color Mocha Blonde. I will have the exact name in the description box, but I'm almost certain that this is, um, it's called Gabrielle. But this is just a wavy wig. I'll put it on in a minute. But these are just like a, I don't know, would you say this is like a curl wand? Like a like a loose curl wand, you know. Um, and I did wear this the first part of our trip, but after a while, the synthetic um, it like it's kind of with this wig. There, are, I feel like there are cons. Like you see, I can't go any further, and I'm scared that if I keep going down, it's gonna get bigger. And I didn't necessarily want this wig to be bigger. Um, it does have a part. And the inside of the part is just like it's literally only a part which i guess you can pluck and because i'm not i'm not gonna play with plucking and all that especially when it comes to synthetic hair because no this has um what did i gonna say on the inside it has combs right here but because of the way, when I put it on, I'm going to show you how it lays. But because of the way it laid, I felt like I could possibly need to sew um, an elastic band into my wig like I do my other wigs. And I've already tightened it because it was a little big on my head. So, let's see. So, I don't like the way it sits up here. Like this right here. I don't like that. I want it to be like flatter. And then because of the way it's curled, you know how like... When you curl your hair, you curl both sides this way. They don't do that on this wig. Ooh. And so because I don't want it to get super duper big yet. Well, and when I was in LA, I didn't want it to get super big. It was just hard to maintain. Like, why is this not? You see this? It's just like doing its own thing. Doing your own thing. I'm that kind of girl. more manageable in the store but like okay so you know how like when hair is a certain length and it falls a certain place it'll like sit right there it's like it just sits and so all the like right here it seems very bushy to me well as you can see it's like and I don't want to pull it out and I don't want to have to keep brushing it that's why I took it off in LA because I didn't want to keep brushing it because I didn't want it to get big because you know how like if you have curly weave like Brazilian Indian curly weave if it gets too big you can just wash it and it'll go back down to size with this like once it gets big it's big like that's it but Ayana was telling me that her friend like washes her synthetic wigs with um, fabric softener and it helps it so I might try that with this just to make it go back to its original state and it does have this little baby hair thing which I'm pretty sure you could just pluck off but when I was in LA, I just did like that. I, I, ex I executed it better. I'm not going to lie. The reason but, I got this one is because I love this color. I love the texture, like the waviness of it. But this right here, this right here. The fact that it just doesn't go straight. Like it's not, I can't make it straighter. And then the back, let me see. You see the back right here? It doesn't just lay. And at the time when I was in LA, I didn't have any hot tools to see if I could make it lay. And I don't have, no, I don't have the card that it comes with. But I really like, like I want to make this wig work. I got this from, um, where did I get this from? I got it from Tyson's, my local beauty supply store. But it is online because I was looking at it online to see if I could find like reviews on it. But I did not see any reviews on it. How much did I pay for this? I think like the other one, it was like 30 something dollars. Yeah, I think it was like 30 30 dollars. But I do I love like maybe I should just I don't know. I'm torn. Like do y'all think I should like try to brush it out and make it bigger or try to wash it and make it go back down to its like normal size? But I also would say like it's too hot for this right now. 
you live in North Carolina, don't try to go outside with this because it's too hot. It's a lot. Like, it's a lot of hair in the back. But, oh my God, that, that color is like beautiful. I love, like, I love this color. But it's kind of, here you go. Right here in this front area, it's like bushy. And I can't do anything about it. I'm scared to brush it because it might like get super big or something. So and then it's like the, and then it's like a separation. Like you see how all this is just flowing together. This will not just mesh with this. It won't just like comb together. It has like made its separation. But um it's not a bad wig. I just have to know how to make I gotta figure out how to maintain it. I might try this again in the winter time because I really even if I knew how to make, like I don't even wouldn't, I wouldn't even wear like Brazilian curly right now in that heat. It's just hot. Like it's too hot. Like I'm already hot with this dress on. I'm hot with this hair on me. I'm not even outside. And so, yeah. I, I mean, I would tell y'all to buy it just because that color is like ridiculous. And if you're more well versed in synthetic wigs and maintaining them, definitely buy it. And I do think it's worth it. Just because, like, if you try to dye some Brazilian curly this color, the integrity of that Brazilian curly might not last. It might not hold up, and then you still might not get this color. I'm trying to do it on your own. Because this color is bomb. Like, I'm, I'm kind of on the, like, I like this wig, and I do want you, like, I think you should get it. At the same time, like, although it's only $30, it just, I don't know if it's, if it's worth it. Like, I'm on the fence. Now that I'm, like, sitting here wearing it and, like, I'm trying to separate it in the back. It's a it's a little bit. It's a lot. I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments what y'all think of this one. Another con for me personally. Ooh, we got some shedding, honey. Ooh, we got shedding. Ooh. Ooh. Like I only wear this look like twice in LA. So this is the first time I'm actually like really wearing. Yeah, we got shedding. But I mean. When it comes to synthetic wigs, like, what, what can you really ask for? Like, it's a $30 wig. But I also think that this will hold up, too, if you just care for it correctly. Like, I just pulled this out of the bag and just put it on my head. So, I think it also depends on, like, if you get your money's worth, it'll be, like, because of how you take care of it. But, ooh, this wig shades, honey. Ooh, father. And it does tangle. And I don't know if that's because it's curly, but honey, it does tangle. And I have not tried to take a brush through it. Oh, the shedding is just, it won't stop. Father God. Mm. I'm on the fence. Like, I'm really on the fence. Like, I love the color. I love the curls. But the this part and this little... It's curled inward instead of outward. This little baby hair thing. Oh, I don't know, guys. I just don't know if I like it. And as I try to brush it and get through it, I'm shedding. I'm not shedding. This thing is shedding. But, okay, let me know. Are you, do you guys like the short blonde? Do you like this long blonde? I have one more, one more wig, one more little blonde wig, honey. But as I play with it, like I love this wig, but I'm not wearing this outside. It's too hot, and I can't, like, I cannot stop the shedding. And I also felt like when I was in LA, like you know, how, like if you're natural and you go outside, the humidity, humidity is gonna get to you. I actually feel like that happened to this hair. Like, I feel like it started to swell as I was outside. Like, it was real hair. But I, that could've just been me being paranoid. But. What do we think? I don't know, y'all. I, like I think it's the color. The color is what's like, stopping me from saying it's a no. Like, the color has me sold. This mocha blonde, honey. Yes, yes, yes. 
Ooh, but it's a lot. It is so. The jury is still out on this one, y'all. But the color is just oh, I can't stop saying it just because I love this color. But would I buy this again? I don't know, child. Because I don't know if it's worth it. That color, though. Now I'm gonna stop talking about the color. But now all jokes aside, I don't know if I like this wig. I'm seriously like, I'm still out on this one. Be just because of the shedding and it's so big and it tangles. Like this is my third time putting this wig on. And we've already like, like, I can't go any further with my hands. But it's also a $30 wig, so what can I say? But if you want to wear this wig and not touch it and not brush it and just let it get bigger, I think you would absolutely love it. Maybe I'll try that. Like, try brushing through it and making it bigger and letting it shed and then washing it. Maybe. Okay, so for this last wig, I'm not going to put this one on just because she does not lay how she should. Because I left her sitting in the back of my car all willy-nilly. Well, I might put it on. But I don't know. I might just let y'all look at pictures. But I, this wig, I love this wig. Oh my God, I love this wig. I don't know the color. I know it's called Lena, L-Y-N-A. I will have all the names and colors and stuff in the description box. But um, it's called Lena, L-Y-N-A by Bobby Boss. Um, and it's not that there is like the Lena and then there's the Lena Sleep. This is not the Sleep one. This is just the regular one. Um, I've had this one for how's many years? No, I bought this right before homecoming, so last year. So, it's almost a year since I still had it. And had I not let her sit in the back of my car crazy for months, she would still be popping today. I would have took her to L.A. with me. But, um, had I had treated her right, she would have done right. But this one right here, this one I think this is a must-have. Because you cannot beat the length of this. Like, it's a perfect bob. Let me just put it on for y'all, even though she's not gonna look right. My sis is, she's not doing well, okay? She's not. And it's my fault. I didn't treat her right. I did not. And I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say it. So, I mean, she don't look that bad on, but she does have a little, what side is it? She does have a little bump, you know, a little mess up over here. This side doesn't, it won't go back together like it's supposed to, but I think y'all get the part for the most part. So this wig is just a, ooh, let's put her to the side, honey. This wig is just a bob wig. Um, it doesn't come to my shoulders. It's like right above my shoulders. And I don't know the color. Um, what color is it? I don't know the top of my head. I'll have that in the description for y'all. But I like, I love this. Was my this was like my go-to wig. I wore this in DC. Um, on my Broccoli City Fest vlog and my homecoming vlog. Um, when I went to Atlanta in February, I wore it there. Like, this was my go-to. The only issue I had, I felt like because it was synthetic and the lace is, like, dumb cheap, I feel like it irritated my scalp just a little bit. I do have, um, a wig. It, it's a little strap you put on your head that... So a little shot that you put on your head that stops your wig from sliding back. I might try that if I wear this one or that one again. I feel like I'm just have to get a new one of these because she's not what she used to be. She's not. But if if you had to buy any of these three wigs, I would tell you to get this one. This is my like. She does not. As long as you set her up right, like put her on a mannequin head or like put her safely in like the little bag that it comes in or whatever. It's no problem. Like, it bounces back like that. But this one was just like laying scattered in my car. So it's not like what it could be. But um, there's no question about this. I, how much did I pay for this? With shipping, I think it was like $30. Couldn't, it wasn't any more than $40. Because I wouldn't pay for it. But it was not any more than $40. But you could have it in your local beauty spot store. This I got this when I was in Missouri. We didn't have a whole lot of beauty supply stores around me so i ordered this one online but check your beauty supply store first and then order it online if you need to but this wig oh my god i love it but it don't sit it don't sit like it used to so i ain't even gonna try to hold y'all this is nice full potential it looks a lot better when it's like i didn't do anything to the part so it is still a little dark but i mean that don't bother me but if it bothers you you could definitely put a little 
But this is, a, this is also a very popular wig on YouTube. I think I found it on YouTube originally. But um, this wig right here, this is my go-to. So I think I'm definitely going to have to get another one of her. I got to have sis in my life. Because this, and I think I want, I feel like I want her in another color. But I'm not sure. Just because when you get into like the blacks or like the twos or one bs, sometimes I feel like it doesn't always look super natural as, as natural as it could. Um, so yeah. But I think all between all three of these, I thought like they look pretty natural. Like, obviously it's a wig, but you know some stuff be looking like, girl, that's a wig on your head. Some of this stuff you might be, these I feel like you might, oh, okay, is that a wig? Is that a sewing? You know, is that her hair? You know what's going on? But I feel like these all are pretty natural. But this one, hands down, is my favorite one. Like, hands down, my go-to. I gotta get her again because. She held me like anytime I need to go somewhere, I threw her in a bag and she was ready. So she holds it down. And like I said, I I don't have any cons. I don't recall it. No, not a lot of shedding. It did come with like a little lace. So I did have to cut the lace when I got it, but nope. Definitely it. This is it. That's all you need. If you don't get nothing else from this video, you need this. Color and all. This color too. Because this is it, honey. This is my go-to. This is my girl. Yes. Okay, so, I gave y'all long and curly. I gave y'all a short, you know, Halle Berry box. What did she wear? That type of wig in Babs? I don't know. We're going to say she did. Halle Berry from Babs type of wig. And I'm giving you a blonde bob wig. I'm giving you lengths. I give you variety. So these are just my thoughts on these wigs. I like all three of the wigs. If I didn't like them, I wouldn't have bought them. That curly wig is still a little suspect. That shortcut, probably my new go-to. This is definitely it, but I got to replace her. So I hope y'all got something from this video. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed this review. I hope it was informative. Let me know down below which ones you all like. And if you will be buying any of these wigs, let me know. I would love to see you slay, sis. Everyone deserves to slay. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I'll see y'all in the next one.